Going full swing. The PGA Tour is in town, and so is Kobe Bryant, who's got a closeout game before him and his Lakers against the stubborn Hornets. The two-time defending NBA champion Lakers up three games to two over New Orleans. Welcome everyone to the Big Easy. Kevin Harlan alongside Reggie Miller. Cheryl Miller is on our sidelines tonight. Reg, you've been in the same position. A closeout game on the road. How hard is it to do? Well, it takes focus and commitment. And the Lakers, more importantly, Kobe Bryant, they're the ultimate closers. Kobe, over the last eight closeout situations, he's averaged 30 or more points. The Lakers going 7-1 and one throughout that time. Let's take a look at the starting five for both teams. A lot of great matchups up and down as we've seen in the previous five games. What's one you're going to watch early tonight? Well, down low. Uh, Pal Gasol has played better games three through five. I think uh, he's suffering that upper respiratory uh, illness. He's feeling a little bit better. In game five, Carl Landry really struggled. He was the second leading scorer up to that point. Only eight points and four rebounds. He's going to have to be more active around the basket. We heard Monty Williams saying, He's going to have to go in there and try to finish. Stop laying the ball up and going strong. If there was one thing that was the trademark in game five, as you took a look at Kobe, walking in and now on the floor. Monty Williams, the head coach, the first year head coach for the New Orleans Hornets said, uh, some of what they did physically, speaking about the Lakers, was not basketball. What did you think of the physical style that was exhibited by the Lakers in that game five? Well, it's the playoffs. And... This is the time for teams to step up and you know when you listen to Phil Jackson He's like look you know, the, the moniker on us is that we've always been a soft team so if, if, you know, You've got a rookie head coach and the youngest team left in the playoffs experience wise So this is the champions trying to send the message to the younger team And he has sense that the Hornets facing elimination no one thought they would get to game six. People thought they were going to get swept by the Lakers. You think they're feeling any jitters tonight at all? I would I would think they'd be very loose and free. Well, you've got to play loose and free because you really have nothing to lose. And this is a chance for this young team with this great home court atmosphere here. It is. With these fans on the edge of their seats just to go out and play. Our crew tonight, Mike Callahan, Ron Garrison, along with Tom Washington. In game five, the Lakers... One by 16, their most convincing win in the series, 106 to 90. And here we go with Chris Paul, obviously in the crosshairs of LA's defensive assignments tonight. And this is Ariza who has been playing very well.